Hello guys, it's me, Big Dave, and today we're doing another Raid Shadow Legends video. And specifically, we're doing St. Tranos Hard Stage S6. So the choke point, so I'll go over the run, and then I'll go over the champs, then I'll go over the gear, and then I'll go over some of the masteries, and then we can go over what can be replaced, what can't, and other alternatives if you don't have the gear. So we'll get into the run. And then uh, I'll catch you guys on the other side. If you need to slow it down, by all means, because I've sped it up for the sake of the video. So, yeah, we'll see you guys on the other side. Enjoy. Hello guys, yeah, so we'll go over the gear, and then we'll go over the masteries. The masteries do slightly help here. As you probably know, there's a lot of war master procs, which does help with the damage. Because obviously you've only really got one damage dealer here. Like Stagnate can hit a little bit, because he hits like three, three times on his A1, but he's not built for damage. So, just to let you guys know that. But we'll go over the gear, and we'll get started. So we'll start with Stagnite. As you can probably see, I'm sort of caught between a rock and a hard place with Stagnite right now. Um, I'm finding I'm using him way more here than I am anywhere else. Because of the fact that he brings two debuffs that are ultimately needed. Which is why I'm really trying to get his Awakening higher so I can use him for Amias. Because he'd be... If I get him a bit tankier, as you can probably see, he's nowhere near tanky enough for Amias. So, yeah, so I'm going to need more Awakens in order to make him viable there. But he's definitely an option. So, 
So we'll go over the stats. So, so 70k HP, 271 speed, very little crit rate, uh, but and then basically 400 accuracy. Um, in a perfect world, a shield set would be good on this guy. That's what I might end up using. I'm hoping the bolster comes around soon after the after the Slayer set has gone from this rotation. Because I need bolster on somebody here because it kind of feels like you needed to get past some of the awkward waves just to survive them. So you don't have to run so many like debuffers and cleansers and all that kind of stuff just to tank the hits. So that's the so eventually that's my hope for starting to get him in bolster or something along those lines. So yeah. Um these are the stats. I'll go over his masteries because I have got masteries on him. So we've got. Uh, I built this guy back in the day. Um, I can't remember what for. Probably for. I did try him in twins, and he worked there for a while there for me. But obviously, you have to keep. I had to keep changing his affinity. I had to keep changing him out on magic all the time because he kept failing there. Obviously, so yeah. Um, Glasses masteries if you need to copy them. Um, I would definitely if you're gonna build stagnant, I would definitely go down the war master tree. But then you don't really need if you've got a damage deal, you could go down the defense tree with him and get retribution so he counterattacks with his A1, which does hit fairly hard. But again, you're probably not building stagnant for damage anymore because you need to make him tanky for everything everything you need him for now. So that's 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 where I've gone with him anyway. So right, that's stagnate's masteries. Right, we'll go into uh, Giscard the Sigil. Literally did this guy a couple of days ago, like two days ago. Booked him during CVC. Um, I like him personally. I don't know. He's one of those champs that outside of outside of Saint Thomas, would you if you've already got Provokers? Like, like I got Morley, so I don't really need this guy. And Morley offers way more than he does, but he does offer a decent kit for an epic. And the fact that he's an epic makes it a lot easier to get books for. Because obviously if you're doing clan boss and all that good stuff, you, you've probably got enough books to be able to book epics now, I would think. If you haven't, then you know, keep doing clan boss because eventually you'll get more of them and you will have Lego books. So, yeah. And the fact that St. Thomas is very much, almost feels like it's dedicated to epics almost at this point. At this point. Um, yeah, so this is, so obviously I've got him in a shield set. Let me go back to where's he gone. Sorry. So he's in a shield set. We've gone, so we've got 45k HP, 4,500 defense, 230 speed, very little crit, a little bit of crit damage, not that we need it. Um, 203 resistance, not used here, but again, I think the happy medium would be to have both, to have a sort of combination of all of these, so he doesn't get debuffed. At least that's the plan, especially for this wave. But the problem is, he might, the next rotation, he won't be in you, he'll be somebody else. And you have no idea what's going to be like. Sometimes it's this one's really, really easy. Sometimes it's absolutely horrendous. Like this rotation, I would say, is the hardest one I've seen. But the fact that it it does give you some damage dealers does kind of help. So that's um, guess got no masteries because literally I've only done them a couple of days ago. And we got Crimson Helm. We'll go over the stats. So I got her in uh, Perception and Guardian. So fifty five k HP. 202 defense, uh, speed, uh, 307 accuracy, so a debuff slant, so a provoke lands. Um, and then I'll go over our masteries. So our masteries are down to Warmaster. Basically, um, I tried her for Bommel a very, when Bommel first came around, so a, a well over a year and a half ago now. And that's why she's 16, it's the only reason she's 60. Um, but the fact that she's tanky and she's defense based, makes it easier to put Guardian on her because she'll take most of the hits and she her job here is to keep Luria alive, sort of, and obviously it's a Stagnet's job too and Giscard's to a certain point, but that's what her job is, is to keep Luria alive. So she's tanking. Theoretically, you could, she can be replaced here, but I'll go over that at the end. So I'll go over the, the replacements you could use if you don't want to use these champs or you haven't got Master, or you haven't got them or you've got other champs. So yeah, so right. So here's Luria. I must say I've stepped on this girl for far too long. Um I, I think she's quite good, to be honest. 
I'm even contemplating using her for Wukong because of the fact that she block revives. But again, it's on a freeze. Like you could just stack loads of damage on her, theoretically, and would she be able to kill Wukong? I don't know. I don't know what her multiply is. She hits pretty hard for me here. But again, another champ that I haven't got gear for. I would never have gear for, to be honest. I'm so low on gear right now. Because I've got a spread thing over so many champs. So, right. So, the stats are... So, 5k attack, pretty much. 221 speed, 100 crit damage, 250... 100 crit rate, 257 crit damage, and then 307 accuracy. Um, you need the accuracy for the freeze. Um, but again, same as Giscard, it's a 75% chance. So, the amount of times you'll miss two, two guys with it, but as you notice on the second wave where it comes in really clutch, it gets everybody pretty much. It only has to get at least four of them. And on the first wave, it has to get everybody apart from Leorius, which she kills initially on the first hit with her A3. So, yeah, so these are the stats. Um, we go into no masteries and then spirit host. So spirit host stats are 52k HP. 2400 defense, 276 speed, 383 resistance, and very little accuracy. Reason being, we need her not to get basically CC'd. So her job is to primarily go first, cleanse, especially on that second wave, because you do not want big gun. Because if you cycle through quick enough on the first wave, the chances are you haven't got, you might not have stagnates, decreased defense, and decreased attack ready to go. So you have this in place. So if, if Big N does take a turn, he doesn't stun everybody. But obviously there we get quite lucky with the Luria A3 and pretty much get everybody. And then you just whittle down. Wozgar's a pain because he places counterattack on himself. That's the one to the far. So our left. So on the left hand side. He's an absolute nightmare once he places counterattack because he'll just chip away at your damage dealer. And before you know your damage dealer's dead. Yeah come across that a few times um so this is where the way i went with uh spirit host um can you replace anybody here right yes you can so the options you've got here and there's a couple um not that i've got any of them so you can replace uh, Crimson Helm with Virgis, or you can replace Stagnite with Virgis. But if you if you're going pure damage and you want to get this done in a couple of minutes, rather than you're going to be sat there for ages anyway if you're struggling with this. Um, yeah, Virgis is a decent shout here. Um, I'm trying to think what other champs you can use. Like Luria is really good. You could use Jingle Hunter, who's just below Luria there. I don't like him personally. I think if anyone needs a needs a rework, it's this guy. Make his make his A three A make his A three freeze. He's a freeze. He, he looks like a freeze champ, but just freeze on one ability, which is, I don't even think it's hundred percent either. He's so like he is so clutch. You can use him, but the problem is is that you're then reliant. You haven't then got the CC on the Samsons in the first wave, so I'm not particularly fussed on him. Like, I thought, oh, I might be all right with this guy. He'll hit hard enough. He doesn't even hit hard enough. Like, if you had, like, an ST and Nuka here, then, yeah, this would be fairly easy, but there's not. So, and Jingle Hunter just doesn't cut it. His multiplier is way too low. He definitely needs a buff, I think. But then, again, that's up to Polaria, not up to me. So, other options. Virgis is going to be a decent option. I'm trying to think who else. Let me have a quick look. So, if I can remember what the options are. Off the top of my head, yeah, yeah. I think Virgis is the only other real option. If there's any others you guys can think of, leave them in the comment section for me. But this is the only one that I can think of. Like Virgis in a shield set. If you've built him for Scarab, but I know a lot of people have, because I'm gonna, I've literally got to help my one of my clarities with this, and he's like, no, for a fact, he's got Virgis built. The difference is we'll probably swap over gear when the um artifact comes around in about a week week and a half's time for free because silver cost is killing me like i'm like i'm not going to do nothing now in soul cost until that comes up because i've wasted so much silver to rebuild it back up 
yeah. And obviously we've got an artifact coming too, so we've got to rebuild it for that too. So yeah. But yeah, so if there's anything you guys need to know, please leave a like, leave a comment. I'll link my Discord in the description so you can come and join us. It's fairly easy going. We probably we sit in chat most days and just chat, to be honest. Just chat rubbish and just go over the game and talk about everything. Everything from well, raid to football, whatever. <laughs> whatever your preference. But yeah, um, if there's anything you need to know, please leave a comment or just message me directly on Discord. So I'm, I'm pretty much on most days because obviously the weather recently has been quite bad, so I've been stuck in. So yeah, um, yeah. So if there's anything else you know, please do all that good stuff, and I'll catch you guys in another video. Big Dave. Out. <laughs>